Hello and welcome to my new video North Sentinel Island It lies to the west of southern part of Andaman Islands of India The people who live on North Sentinel Island are called the Sentinelese They are thought to be direct descendants of the first humans who emerged from Africa. They have lived on this tiny island for almost 60,000 years. Their exact population is unknown. It could be as low as 40 or high as 500. However, an Indian anthropologist T N Pandit conducted several government sponsored trips to the island. in the late 80s and early 90s sometimes they would turn their backs to us and sit on their haunches as if to defecate he said this was meant to insult us as we were not welcome it doesn't matter whether you are a friend or enemy whether you arrive at the island shores on purpose or by accident the locals will greet you the same way with spears and arrows gifts of food and clothing are of no importance to them they were even hostile to rescue missions after tsunami in 2004 a group of rescuers reached out to sentinelese in an indian navy helicopter they wanted to find and help survivors although chances were slim they tried dropping food parcels to the ground but they were met with hostility A sole sentinelese warrior emerged from the dense jungle and shot an arrow at the helicopter. Surprisingly, there has been only one instance where outsiders did not have to face an aggressive reception. On January 4, 1991, 28 men, women and children approached Mr. Bandit and his group. That they voluntarily came forward to meet us, it was unbelievable, he said. They must have decided the time had come. Unfortunately, the last contact with islanders in 2006 didn't go as well. Two fishermen were killed while illegally fishing within the range of the island. There are several horror stories of how sentinels have treated their guests. People either returned from the island terrified and injured or not at all. After several failed attempts to make friendly contact with them since 1964, the Indian government has finally backed away. All visits to the island are banned. The Indian Navy has enforced a 3-mile buffer zone to keep tourists, explorers and other meddlers away. Accidental encounters still do occur and none of them end well. The Andaman and Nicobar administration has stated in 2005 that they have no intention to interfere with the lifestyle or habitat of the Sentinelese, neither in pursuing any further contact with them. But I feel they should be treated as us. and the government must take an effort now further to my research i found this video on youtube uploaded on november 25 2011 an unidentified group who were trying to interact with the sentinels The Sentinelese are among the last uncontacted people left in the world. Working on this project, reading about them, watching all these videos brought tears in my eyes. Perhaps it's best to leave them alone. 
bringing them out into civilization might not be the best for them. Let me know your opinions in the comment box below and share this video so it reaches to the whole world. Thank you for watching and please give a thumbs up if you like this video. I sincerely thank and respect those who have spent their life and worked on this project which made a lot easier for me to make this video.